Hi everyone, welcome to Die a Dash, where we dash deception. And I'm Diana, and I'm going to talk about a little bit about fluoride and elaborate on the last vid that I put up because I did that one yesterday, uploaded it today. And of course, my camera, guys, oh, gotta love cameras. Um, the batteries never um, take, so it actually died at the battery, stopped working, the camera just shut down as I was recording. So it's a good thing it ended on me finishing a sentence at least, right? But um, I was talking about how you can put turmeric inside and to stay away from fluoride. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to that and put some uh, PDFs, put some links in the description so you can have for yourself, you can have like the facts and stuff. And um, I really appreciate the viewer. I love all the feedback, guys. If you can, give me some thumbs up. I'm not getting... It's like people are shy. You got to, like, ask for it. It helps circulate the videos and so other people can see it and all that. So, you know, um, you know, we do a lot of work to put this up. And it'd be nice to see that people appreciate it. So even comments and feedback, I totally love that stuff because it is an open dialogue. We all want to get better. No one wants to be sick and full of all these toxins. And what people don't get, look at the word fluoride. What's the first three letters? And what do they have people all scared of, right? Catching the first three letters of fluoride. When you really go into the etymology of the word virus, it will tell you poison. And most people don't understand their bodies whatsoever. They totally misinterpret the signals. It's really tragic because the results are evident, right? So, um, yeah, um, you'll get symptoms like viral symptoms. Your body may heat up. You may get um, stuffy sinuses, like congestion. It's literally your body that's so intelligent because God knew what he was doing. The most I knew what he was doing when he put you together, right? That like literally it's like increasing the water production and everything to like dilute whatever poison was in there bothering you. So it has a way to get out. But look at the first three letters. Okay, this is a quote from Dr. Daniel Newsom, NMD. It says, fluoride toxicity causes the bones to dissolve. It actually causes the teeth to dissolve. If you get enough fluoride into your teeth, your teeth will rot and fall out, literally. Literally. People are walking around judging each other based on Oh, if their teeth, you know, not realizing it's been put into the water system. I'm going to have to do a bid sometime because you can go, I'm not sure if it's an environmental working group, but there's a website you can go on and you can literally check all the toxins that are inside your city's water supply. And then they got the audacity to tell you, you got to pay for that too. And that it's helping when in ancient history in all of recorded history, you can go to a remote island where people don't even brush their teeth like that. Actually, the stuff that we do now is actually not even natural. You know, they would eat certain fruits and um, like apples wash your teeth and things like that. Like just think what the animals do. Do they do all this stuff to keep their teeth healthy? No, they don't. And you'll go to these, re you'll see people in these remote countries and they'll have like the whitest teeth and they'll be gorgeous. It's because nutrition, everything has to go back to orthomolecular medicine. That's why I go into that because you're like self-regenerating, which most people don't understand, right? Like your hair grows, your nail grows daily. So you need the essential nutrients daily to have the building blocks, the building supplies per se. So you have it for the next day. And most people are not doing that. We're very deficient. So your body don't have like enough material to keep um, doing its thing and to make more tissue and to re-knit um, into new bone and stuff. How many people have rickets, they say. Um, I know people who had that, right? Um, 
just think your tap water when you're taking a shower a lot of us need to get filters if you can i tried to get one it's really hard to get it to fit to the shower head it's a pain i had to return the one i got it wouldn't fit right they don't make it easy right y'all make sure it's the correct part and that it will fit your shower head um that's definitely something there you know and pro probably one for the sink too but definitely one for the shower especially when we take hot showers guys it opens up your pores all the stuff is coming in so just think about it those two words flu fluoride flu fluoride is it just toxicity are they trying to tell you something of course they are that's really all i believe it is is toxicity and if people didn't know look at that marvelous right Fluoride is the main ingredient in Prozac for a reason. <clears throat> it makes you apathetic. It makes you not give a damn what's going on in the world. There's so many self-absorbed people, right? That's why I just, I can't relate to a lot of people. They either come on too strong or they're just um, too, um, you know, they're just too indifferent about everything. It's all about them, them, them. So it's really tough because um, a lot of people compound that with prescription medications, right? You'd be surprised. You think people are walking around normal. That's why there's so many accidents. People are so drugged up. This is so Alice in Wonderland. Just think about it. I mean, I see like the these old ladies, they're like out of their minds on the street. But look, it's the main ingredient in Prozac. So they want to keep people docile. This is what Hitler did during his time. This is people are like, oh, how can he have so many supporters and all this stuff? Really? Look around. Look how many people freaking are like so enamored with this cult of personality with all these different politicians and all these so-called scientists telling us what we should ingest and what's best for you when all you have to do is just look up a couple of things. So I just try to make these vids to make it easy to show that there is plenty of information. Don't let anybody blow smoke up your ass or piss on your head, right? And tell you it's raining out because that's all they do. It says, um, your problems don't go away. You just no longer care about them. It's a drug is a drug is a drug, right? They tell you that with all drugs, but they forgot this one. It's mass medication. We didn't consent for that. Children, we, they don't, I, you know, everyone's unique. What will be good for one will not be good for another sometimes. And so just because one person doesn't have like obvious symptoms, another person can like totally get sick and have cancer. The big C, it seems like who doesn't have it nowadays, right? Okay. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Um, that's the way I can put it up close if this will even let me work. It says the man from the government wants to put fluoride more toxic. Oh, it's more toxic than lead. Anybody tell you that? Th they'll have you believe it will prevent cavities, but all it'll do is give you fluorosis and brown spots. There was a girl that moved from Portugal when I was uh, a teenager. She was in my neighborhood and she had so like a real bad case of fluorosis now that I look back and she was called Charlie Brown guys. I mean, it was so horrible. She ended up getting veneers and stuff. It's terrible. It says, um, there is a good deal of speculation about water fluoridation schemes. This report provides new data, which is direct evidence of the safety and efficacy of water fluoridation in England. Professor John Newton, that's April 2014. Um, look at to the right, guys. Causes, look, the big C. Impairs IQ. I mean, most people are just straight out, out, out to lunch, not even out to lunch, out to dinner, lunch, and breakfast, completely gone. It's like I have to repeat myself 50 times to people. I hate doing that. So I'd rather just like not deal with a lot of people put up these vids. They want to know about something. They got to do some of their research. I can't hold everybody's hand. I can't baby everyone. I wasn't, you know, the most high had to show me. And what does the Bible tell you? Study to show yourself approved, not have someone else study for you. Impairs kidneys. Look how many people got um, issues receding gums oh yes i have that on the left side of my mouth they they'll tell you oh you brush too hard they always say the same bobo answers they don't fool me anymore but they won't tell you and they'll try to give you an extra fluoride treatment while you're there to give you your extra dose of poison so you tell them they can take that and go straight to hell with that 
Look, depressed his heart. Oh, that's nice. This is straight attempted murder. People need to call the spade a spade. Increases infertility. Oh, goes back to the Georgia Guidestones, does it not? Increases flor um, fluorosis, which is like the heavy um, brown spotting on the on the teeth. So many mouthwashes contain this. That's why I put up a vid, how to make your own toothpaste. Um, definitely eating apples will clean your teeth. Um, using very, very soft bristles. You can use your finger. Even you don't want to scratch up your gums. They're already so damaged from all the crap. Um, I won't even use tap water to rinse my mouth while I'm brushing my teeth. I use only distilled water in a cup. That's how bad it is. I don't want that in my mouth. It's bad enough. You know, we're exposed to it in other ways. Fluoridated municipal water supplies. Toothpaste, of course, all the brands, right? You should go back to the families of the Colgate family and the Crest and see what they're really all about. Um, foods and drinks even processed with fluoridated water. That's why it's not good to get ice or iced beverages because the water they use to make the ice is nasty. And that's why a lot of people get sick. Heart attacks too. No one ever makes these type of connections, but a lot of it is just toxicity. They just make up random names to try to bamboozle people. It says heart attack deaths in Newburgh after nine years of fluoridation, 1954. Look at that. Fluoride in water at one part per million increased tooth cavities in four large reliable studies. 7%, 22%, 45%, and 10%. Average in 21%. Fluoride causes cavities. You see that? So I don't care if you've known your um, dentist for 20 years. I don't care if they knew your mom, your dad. That's all nepotism to me, guys. People need to stop. That just shows me how logical are people. If they're making decisions based on if they just know someone. Because a lot of them get programmed to lie. A lot of them have been lying so long they don't know how to tell the truth. There is not the slightest doubt. That's from Gerald F. Judd, Ph.D. Professor Emeritus. Emeritus chemistry. Here in Toronto, we've been fluoridating for 36 years, yet Vancouver, which has never fluoridated, has a cavity rate lower than Toronto's. Dr. Hardy Lineback, BSc, PhD in biochemistry, DDS, head of the Department of Preventative Dentistry for the University of Toronto and President of the Canadian Association of Dental Research. Yeah, definitely. If more people knew how bad it was, they would be definitely be doing it. And this is right here. Look, why are these people so healthy? Native people eating traditional foods had physical excellence Splendid facial and dental arch forms and no cavities. So, I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of data. And look at the first three words. What What is the flu really? You know, it has the same symptoms and the etymology of um, virus is straight up poison. So it's time for us to wake up, don't you think? The evidence that fluoridation is more harmful than beneficial is now overwhelming. That's by Dr. Hardy Lineback, panel member on the National Academy of Sciences Fluoride in Drinking Water Report. And don't think that bottled waters are immune. And there's no um, safe amount. Yeah, even your coveted Evian in Fiji, they charge big bucks. This shows you that sorcery and um, reverse psychology and witchcraft is so real. Hypnotism is real. People like, I, you know, they just think, oh, hypnotism is having like a little, you know, uh, watch, right? That just swings back and forth while you count backwards kind of thing. Like we've been put under spells time and time again. Look, we've got an evil network of evil in this country that we can't hide from any longer. That's from, yep. He wrote a book, uh, Dr. John Yaman Yiannis. He's the author of Fluoride, the Aging Factor. 
Um, in 2003, the, US, the UK government passed a new law which exempts them and the water companies from all claims as a result of disease or death from fluoride in drinking water. It's definitely toxic waste, but that's what we think. That's what they think of us. And a lot of people have all kind of issues. Like this is just a very small type of, you know. I mean, we can go what it does to the pineal gland. That's actual pictures. I mean, damn. They always say, you know, your pineal gland is like your connection to heaven, basically, to the source. And, of course, they want to calcify that. And fluoride is deposited here as a result of consumption. So think about that, guys. Next time you go to the dentist and they're trying to push that on you, really, uh, has anybody did the work to actually study to show thyself approved, you know, themselves approved? So it says, up until the 1990s, no research had ever been conducted to determine the impact of fluoride on the pineal gland, a small gland located between the two hemispheres of the brain that regulates the production of the hormone melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that helps regulate the onset of puberty and helps protect the body from cell damage caused by free radicals. It is now known thanks to the meticulous research of Dr. Jennifer Luke from the University of Surrey in England that the pineal gland is the primary target of fluoride accumulation within the body. The soft tissue of the adult pineal gland contains more fluoride than any other soft tissue in the body, a level of fluoride 300 parts per million capable of inhibiting enzymes. Are you kidding me, guys? inhibiting enzymes so that means like you can't absorb your nutrients um definitely awful um you know i'm gonna make this one short but i'm gonna attach this to look at the horses um you know the mass death three million dollars worth of horses okay had passed away they were poisoned so yeah, what can happen to animals can happen to us. We're also biological organisms. Imagine, you'll never guess what killed three million dollars worth of horses. Isn't that nice? Wayne and Kathy Justice has been raising quarter horses on their farm for quite some time without trouble, but come 1985, water fluoridation was introduced. Just two years after fluoridation began, Wayne and Kathy began to notice strange things happening to their horses. At the time, what was wrong with the horses was a complete mystery, but in 2003, something in the horse's behavior tipped them off. During the winter of 2003-2004, the justices got a lot of snow. They kept... They keep a 100-gallon tank of the city's fluoridated water outside for the horses to drink from. But once the snow came in, the horses virtually shunned the bucket of water. The bucket that was usually refilled every 24 to 36 hours was staying full for weeks at a time while the horses ate snow to get their water. Interestingly enough, while the horses were eating snow and avoiding the tank of water, their symptoms began to disappear. You see the guys, the poor horses, they knew that there was something wrong with the water. But what happened when the snow melted away? Kathy explains in an interview that a small raven runs, ravine runs through their property when the snow is melting. In what appears to have been conscious attempts to avoid the fluoridated water, the horses began to dig small pools in which they would drink dirty, muddy water. That's right, they went out of their way to dig holes to get muddy water to drink in order to keep from um, to keep from drinking the city water. Kathy and Wayne don't consider it a coincidence that the horses that drank the most water were the ones that got sicker faster than the rest. Horses on average will drink 10 to 12 gallons a day. A lactating mare can actually double that amount. Ironic is the horses that we had get the sickest and qu the quickest were the mares that were lactating, Kathy says. The speculation here is very much alive. It's one thing if you're skeptical about chemical additives in drinking water. But it's a whole different story when animals try to avoid it completely. 
However, this case is not only fueled by speculation, but scientific data. Researchers determined that the horses had, in fact, been poisoned by fluoride, and the only source of fluoride accessible to the horses on the entire farm was their drinking water. Their symptoms included crooked legs, fluorosis, which is the brown spotting of the teeth, guys, hoof deformities, reproductive issues, hyperostosis, and a anastosis, redu reduced bone resorption. The foregoing clinical and morpho morphological observations together with the bone fluoride analysis establish the diagnosis of chronic fluoride intoxication of horses in the study causes, causes by consumption of artificially, look at that, fluoridated drinking water. Lennar P. Crook in a 2006 publication. It has been confirmed fluoridated water killed Kathy and Wayne, just as the six horses and possibly their four dogs. Not only did they lose their beloved animals, but each horse was worth around $500,000, making it a $3 million loss. That must have happened to one of my dogs, too. This is a great reference. I'll put this um, fluoride drinking ourselves to death. That um, it has a full PDF. That's another publication. If you guys need to check that out, so I'll put that. Um, I'll put this too because I mentioned turmeric and how it will take care of plaque and gum disease. So I'm gonna attach it just to show you how I made the recipe. It's not gonna make your teeth all crazy looking. I'll actually whiten it people will probably think oh it's gonna make my teeth orange i thought that too but um yeah commercial whiteners are horrible it just really goes into it a lot of risk with commercial whiteners they'll give you toothaches your teeth will become translucent who the hell wants that your teeth will fall out gum irritation gum receding yeah i used to use the stupid crest whitening strips back in the day worst thing ever i think i have issues because of that teeth becoming brittle oh look See how it's all witchcraft? They tell you, oh, we're going to work in your teeth, and then it goes yellow again faster than the before. Tells you right there. So it says turmeric. Um, what it does, it's a powerful at it, you know. But it's a great teeth whitener. It'll stain fabrics and surfaces. You know, it's a strange coincidence, but it works. So, you, you know, there's a recipe here you can use. Again, you know, so you can use um, turmeric powder. You don't even have to use baking soda. In my prior vid, I used baking soda. But again, as long as you're getting away from the commercial products, as long as you, you know, you refrain from putting fluoride in your mouth, you're going to do great. And it tells you that um, it has antiviral and antibacterial properties that can help keep the bad bacteria at bay and may soothe improve oral infections. When you use natural products like turmeric, you can expect less irritation and a healthier mouth than when you use chemical-based products because of turmeric's antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory and antiviral properties it can help to soothe inflammation and irritation in the mouth oh look it decalcifies your pineal gland see this is actually we can actually use it so make sure you drink it in your water guys it'll help offset the fluoride okay so that's one thing it protects your brain oh it already tells you that from the fluoride damage so that's great how we have something to mitigate that. So I'll definitely put this in because, you know, just to, you know, give you guys um, some literature. It's always good. And, you know, I'm learning too as I continue to read along. And my amazing viewers, I always love your um, feedback. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of xylitol. I had um, a viewer mention that um, it's not needed because the, once you understand the cause of tooth decay, you know, um, they say, oh, it makes it sweet or whatever. I don't need to make my toothpaste sweet, you know, peppermint oil and all that. It, it, it's going to do fine. And it tells you here that it's toxic to dogs. And a lot of things that are toxic to dogs, be careful. It can be toxic to you too. And um, it's, there's no um, scientific evidence to tell you that it even prevents tooth plaque or cavities, anything like that. So that's not something I would, you know, to each their own. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life. 
but that's just not something I'm into. But uh, yeah, with this um, fluoride drinking ourselves to death, definitely something um, that you guys would want to read. I had it open over here, so it's like, you know, they've already studied. They've already studied it. Um, and they, you know, so there is no debate that it's definitely something that is horrible for us. You know, um, the aspects of fluoride right here. I've been looking into the canal, the author right here now residing in Oxford. Who's the author's name? Barry A. Groves. And he recalls telling examples to, you know, because contrary to prevailing expectations of tooth decay rates, continue to decline in places that have, look, discontinued fluoridation. It says right here, discontinued. So the tooth rates decline in places that have stopped it. So just to show you that this is, um, you know, there's many sources, not just one place. And right here, um, they tell you, ah, oh, sorry guys, going crazy. That his central theme is the disturbing contradiction of classifying industrial silico fluoride byproducts as too hazardous to release into the air, rivers, or lakes, but calling them safe and beneficial when they are metered into municipal drinking water where their intake is unregulated and often excessively high and toxic. Another concern is the fact that most dentists and other health professionals are generally taught that the recommended uses of fluoride are safe and affected even though their own journals often report otherwise all right so i'm going to leave these links i have to go guys um this was just like a little quick something for me to fit in between the million things i have to do today so stressed out but try not to show it right <laughs> But yeah, with all this stuff, it is stressful because you're trying to dodge all these bullets and then it's like one thing after another. And every day I'm learning something new is toxic and people are like, oh, what do I do? I can't avoid it or whatever. You wouldn't roll around in sewage all day. There are things that you can do, you know, you have to <laughs> cut out a lot of these chemicals or your body's just going to be overloaded. Do you want to be a mutation? You know, that's where a lot of these diseases are. Disease just means not well, unease. You're on, you're not at ease. You know, um, you're not feeling your best. You're not feeling good. And it's not just about, oh, uh, you know, like uh, some type of gimmick that people are putting out there. Like, oh, you just do this. You just do that. It's, we really got to take care of a lot of um, the chemical bombardment that we get every day because you're going to get viral symptoms. It's going to come out with the stuff you know is you're going to start sneezing. Just like when somebody, they spray something that's like too harsh, you're already sneezing. Your body is already trying to get rid of it. Your eyes will burn, you know, and you can't. And having a fever is not the worst thing in the world. Your body is doubling in its um, speed to kill off all these um you know, microorganisms that are doing you harm. So don't be scared of all the signals in your body. It's nothing to be scared of. But I totally appreciate all the comments, any type of feedback. Like I said, we're all learning together. Every day I'm learning something new. And um, I'm writing it down in my notebook. I'm printing stuff out. And I uh, love different sources. And I love putting stuff in the description box for you guys. So, you know, it's not my opinion. It's years and years of studying to show myself approved as well. You know, because I like to know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't checked me out on eBay, please do. I started a line, Kadesh Gardens. If you're into natural uh, products, please check me out there. I'll put a link below. And um, the coupon code for my store for exclusive, only for my exclusive spiritual diamonds on this channel. It's Dash Deal 10. You just plug in Dash D A. SH deal, you know how to spell deal, and just the number 10. If you put that in the coupon code, it's good for anything, not just the products, but anything that I have on the store. Because I totally appreciate anybody who takes the time to check me out on this channel. I'm going to stop putting more content on my Alpha 7. I have another backup channel too where I've been reading books from and stuff, but it's just been such a hectic couple of weeks, guys. And just to get even these vids in is like almost impossible. But with uh, um, the strength from the Most High, you know, 
I have the endurance. He definitely gives me endurance to do this stuff. But I appreciate all you guys. Um, you know, the comments are wonderful. Hit that thumbs up button, you know, show your girls some support. I do it to other YouTubers and stuff. But, you know, if you're just stopping by and learning something new, that's great too. That's what I'm here for. And um, this is just something that comes from the heart because I don't want people to be sick. I know many, many people that passed away when they didn't have to, you know what I mean, guys? So, um, you know, just got to keep each other informed and um, thank you so much. I'll put this link, fluoride, are we drinking ourselves to death, you know? Uh, try to get some filters for your shower, guys. Try to make your own toothpaste. Check out anything that has fluoride and if anybody tries to push that on you, you tell them right then and there that that's attempted assault, that's attempted murder. Like, do they know how dangerous that is? And if they don't, they're not qualified for the position. And a lot of people in these roles are not qualified. They're not worth, um, you know, the so-called paychecks that they bring home. They're not worth it. And we can do so much better empowering ourselves. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.